as a unit, we've done well. I think, you know, I think we complement each other quite well. Um, and and we all get on really well. I think the whole team is the same way. Um, but there's a real togetherness in the back line and comes out and shows on the pitch just how hard we work for each other. Are they all very different characters? You know, you've got Nabi Saar, Matty Pearson, Tom Lees, uh, Levi Colville as well. Are they all very different players to work alongside? I think everyone's got the strengths. Um, every, uh, like there's different people, like Levi's really good on the ball. Um, Matty just throws himself in front of anything. Um, but yeah, I think everyone everyone's just different and, and no matter who goes in, we've got confidence that each, each one of us will do a job. Yeah, how important is that that trust that you've got between you? It is important, especially in the back line. You know, you've got to trust in you've got to trust in in some in someone else to be in the right place to do the job to to take a runner to you know to mark the front post to mark a man. And I think I think I, I don't have to sort of worry about anyone who, who's playing in front of me. Extended up into Hoggy, Scott High, Lewis O'Brien, all the way through the team. It's just a, it's just a well, a well drilled team that no matter who steps up, we know our jobs. Equally, they've clearly got a lot of trust in you as well. I was listening to the, uh, the post match interview with Harry Toffolo um, after the Swansea game, and he described your performance as being exceptional, and that he felt that you made the dressing room a stronger, a better place. Uh, which, you know, how how nice is that to hear? No, it, it, it yeah, it, it is really nice, but. It's- I think that just goes for everyone in that dressing room. It's not just me. It's not just Toffs. It's not just Hoggy. I think, I think the dressing room this season is probably the best I've ever been in. Um, it's like the real together. Like we are genuinely just a group of lads who are just made to are just playing footy, and it is a, it is genuinely a dream to come into footy and and work with the boys. Yeah. Quick word on on the FA Cup match as well, um, which unfortunately you missed due to illness. Were you following that game, and what was going through your mind when first the injury to Ryan, and and then um, young goalkeeper Nico Belakovic having to step in at such short notice? Well, yeah, I, I watched it on um, at home, and personally, I was a bit gutted that I wasn't obviously coming on, and but I was even more gutted for Ryan. I thought Ryan had worked hard to get his, to get the opportunity to play, um, so I was gutted for Ryan, but obviously. Aside from that, as a un- as a goalkeeper union sort of point, I was I was happy when well, just thinking that Nick was going to get an opportunity because I I know how hard Nick has worked and Nick's a young lad with a lot of potential, so it was good for Nick and and he he looked relaxed, he he took it in his stride and and luckily we came away and and we're in the half the next round. I mean, how hard is it when you're not? maybe really expecting to get an opportunity to suddenly be thrown in like that and suddenly have to perform on, on such a big stage as well. Yeah, I think for a goalkeeper, it's one of the hardest things to do is to be sitting there on the bench and suddenly get your kids on you going on. I think it's one of the hardest things to do. And credit to Nick, he, he took a look relaxed. I remember after about two or three minutes into the after he came on, I think the ball got fired back to him and he took a great touch and he just looked relaxed. And I think from then on, he just took it in his stride. And and after the game, he come away and it, like everyone was talking about him. Everyone was giving him plaudits and, and rightly so. Yeah. Did you message him straight afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. I spoke to him. Yeah, I spoke to him after the game. And, and unfortunately, because of that injury to Ryan, it looks like it's going to be you or him for the next round of the cup as well. I mean, how important is it for you to have that? That competition, you know, somebody who's over your shoulder who inevitably, you know, wants your place. That's the nature of the game. But to, to push you forward as well to have that competition. No, it, it is good. It, it, it's good for me personally. Um, I like to have have competition. I think it's good. I think, you know, I think I said it in pre-season that the more competition you have in one position, the better it is because it keeps you on your toes. No matter if you're a goalkeeper, a striker, a right back, it doesn't matter. And... I think the quality of goalkeepers at this club is is good. I, f- I think it's good for me personally. I think it's good for the club. And you know, you got Nick, GL, Ryan, filtering all the way down. Like even Mike Yakwa in the in the in the um, in the eighteens is is a top goalkeeper. And I think it's just good, no matter who comes over with us. Um, 
over with the goalkeeper sorry and and those pushes that that we know that it, it's a good enough keeper that you've got to be on your toes you've got to be on your best you've got to work hard I think that's the culture that we've sort of built Obviously, we're a few weeks away from the next round of the Cup. So on to more immediate matters. Reading, who are having a, a weird season. What are you expecting from them this uh, this weekend? A tough game. I think it, the, there's no easy games in the Championship. Um, you know, they're at home. They'll be fighting to get back on the form that they had a few months ago. And um, I, personally, I'm expecting a tough game. And... Um, but we'll go there confident in what we can do, you know, like we were just outside playoffs at the moment and we'll go there and and try our best to take the three points, but we, do, we have got confidence that we can.